in the booklet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the beginning is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is the King of Apostles. Come, let us, let adore, us adore him. Adore him. <laughs> come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, the is the King of, of Apostles. apostles. Come, come, let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. The mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his Son are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. The Lord, Lord is the King, King of Apostles, come, come let, let us adore him. him. Come in, let us bend, bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture. The flock that is led by his hand. The Lord, the Lord is the is King, the King of, apostles. of Apostles. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore him. him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as of Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord, the Lord is, the is the King, King of, of apostles. apostles. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore him. him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. The Lord, the Lord is, is the King, King of Apostles. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore him. him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <coughs> is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is the King, King of, of apostles. apostles. Come, Come let, let us adore him. him. O fathers of our ancient faith, with all, with all the, the heavens we sing your fame, whose sound, sound went, went forth in all the earth, earth to tell of Christ and bless, and bless his name. name. You, you took the gospel to the poor, the, the word of God alight in you, which in our, our day is told again, that timeless, timeless word forever new. You, you told of God, God who died for us, and out, out of death triumphant rose, who gave, gave the truth, truth that made us free, free and, and changed us through the ages goes. Praise, Praise Father, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost whose gift is faith that, that never dies, a light and darkness now until the day star in our hearts arise. Thomas said, Lord, Lord we do not, we do not know, know where you are going, going. So how, how can, can we, we know, know the way? way? Jesus, said, Jesus to him, said to him, I am the I way, am the, way the, truth the truth, and the life. life. O oh God, you are my God, for you are long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I'll bless you all my life. In your name I'll lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thomas, Thomas said, said, Lord, Lord do not we do know not know where, where you are going. going. So, so how can we, we know, know the way? way? Jesus, Jesus said, to, said him, to him, I am, I the, am way, the way, the, the truth, and the, and the life. life. Jesus called Didymus. A Thomas called Didymus was, was not, not with them when Jesus came. came. The, the other disciples said to him, We have, have seen, seen the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Of all your works of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. 
To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you sun and moon, O oh bless the Lord. And you the stars of the heavens, O oh bless the Lord. And you showers and rain, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you all the breezes and winds, O oh bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O oh bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you showers and dew, O oh bless the Lord. And you frost and cold, O oh bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O oh bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O oh bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let the earth bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O oh bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O oh bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh Israel, bless the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. Didymus, Thomas, called, Thomas Didymus, called Didymus was not, not with them when, when Jesus came. came. The other, the other disciples, disciples said, said to him, We have, we have seen, seen the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands here and see, see the holes that the nails, the nails made. Doubt, doubt no longer, longer but, but believe. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its making. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and it to its sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, his honour is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Put, Put your, your hand hands here, and see, see the holes that the nails, nails made. Now no longer, but, but believe. believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens in a foreign land, but fellow citizens with God's people, members of God's household. You are built upon the foundation laid by the apostles and prophets, and Christ Jesus himself is the foundation stone. In him the whole building is bound, bonded together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you too are being built with all the rest into a spiritual dwelling for God. You will make them rulers over all the land. 
You make them rulers over all the land. Your name, Lord, will be remembered. You make them rulers over all the land. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You make them rulers over all the land. Thomas, you, you believe because, because you have seen me. me. Blessed, Blessed are those who have not seen, seen and, yet and yet believe. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those were his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. We swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thomas, you, you believe, believe because, because you have, have seen, seen me. me. Blessed, Blessed are those, are those who, have who have not seen, seen and, and yet, yet believe. believe. Since we have received from the Apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood handed on by the Apostles to give us strength and life. Lord, the Apostles sing your praises. For the table of your word served by the Apostles to bring us light and joy. Lord, the Apostles, sing your praises. O your holy church, built on the Apostles, to make us all one body. Lord, the Apostles, sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance, entrusted to the Apostles, to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the Apostles, sing your praises. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us, and lead not, us into not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Father, let our celebration of the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle be the source of an, his unfailing help and protection. Fill us with your life-giving grace, through faith in your Son, Jesus, whom Thomas acknowledged to be his Lord and God. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the priests. Eternal Father, Father, we thank, thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. sisters. We, we give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask, we ask you to, to raise up new and generous occasions to the priesthood in our, in our time. Send for the Holy Spirit, Spirit to open, open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy and giving their whole lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. We're celebrating the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle today. We will recite the Gloria No Creed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, our God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession and believing may have life in the name of Jesus, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundation and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Go out Go to out the whole to world, the whole proclaim, world the proclaim the good, the good news. news. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Go out, Go out to the, the whole world, world proclaim, proclaim the, good the good news. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. Go, Go out, out to the, the whole world, world proclaim the good, the good news. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe, Thomas, because you can see me, says the Lord. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Thomas called the twin was one of the twelve who was one of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. When they said, we have seen the Lord, he answered, unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. 
Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here. Look, here is, are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to, him, to them, you believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Thomas is considered to be the patron of doubters, those who struggle with their faith. After all, it is not easy to believe that someone has risen from the dead. We can all see something of Thomas in ourselves. We doubt because we want some evidence to ground and reinforce our faith. We need visual proof that we can touch and feel. Out of compassion for Thomas, Jesus revealed himself to him so that he could see and believe. And Thomas responded in adoration, my Lord and my God. For us who miss the physical appearance of Jesus, we depend on the testimony of the apostles, the scriptures, and the saints and the Holy Spirit to ground and strengthen our faith in Jesus. Jesus commended those who have not seen and yet believe. Faith is not blind. God has given us minds to ponder revealed truths. He wants us to use our powers of reason in coming to faith in him. Our faith is a response to the facts of revelation which are true and certain because they are rooted in the word of God who does not lie or deceive. Lord, teach us that the world cries out for believers who testify to a confident and mature faith. Help us to confess with our lips and proclaim with heart that Jesus is Lord. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us since now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
we render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gift in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to request you eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Oh my God, you take care of this thing, so. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should turn down under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O oh God, as we truly receive in the sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant we pray that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deed and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.